Hello everyone out there in internet land, this is Argonaut. Welcome to my YouTube video. Today I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite applications for OS X in action. You may have already heard about Plex, a new open source media center application for Mac based on the Xbox Media Center project. If not, check it out. These guys have been working really hard to bring us a great alternative to Front Row. The best part is, it's absolutely free. Once you give it a try, you probably won't go back to Front Row. I've been using it for a while now, but the thing that kept me from switching over earlier was that it's really hard to take advantage of all of Plex's great features using the Apple remote, and I prefer leaving my keyboard at my desk where it belongs. Then I got my iPhone and I saw how much potential it had, so I started looking around for a remote control app that I could use with Plex. There's a few options out there, including the XBMC remote, but I couldn't get it to work reliably without causing Plex to crash. So I kept looking and I discovered a great solution. I came across an app called Snatch, which gives you all sorts of control over your computer from your iPhone, including the ability to create custom remote control screens. I'm going to show you how I use Snatch as a remote control for Plex. Okay, so I downloaded Snatch from the iTunes App Store and installed it on my iPhone. There's also a small application called Snatch Server that you need to download from Hufian's website that allows your computer and your iPhone to communicate through your Wi-Fi network. There's a user manual on the website that makes it pretty easy to set up and configure. Alright, let's go to the iPhone and take a look. Okay, here's the Snatch application. You can see down on the bottom your navigation to move between your screens. Uh, there's also a settings screen. Your first screen is your tracking screen. This is basically like the trackpad on a laptop. You can see the mouse cursor moving around back there. Also has tap to click. And you can also click by using the left and right mouse buttons on top of the screen. Another nice feature is two finger scrolling. Another way you can scroll is the scrolling screen. You can go up and down or around in a circle. This is really handy when you're scrolling through a really long list. The third screen is your keyboard and custom remote screen. We'll flip up the keyboard so you can see. Uh, it's a full function keyboard. You can type in a web address into your browser or any other text you need to send to your computer. Also use it to program your custom remote keys. Okay, uh, you can make up to four custom remote control screens. Each one can have 36 of these customized buttons. You can configure the size, the shape, the color, uh, and then map them to keyboard keys. This is the remote that I have created for the application Plex. This button here is actually mapped to an Apple script that launches Plex. Let's check that out. All right, you see Plex pop up in the background there. Got the arrow keys for navigation. You can go down or up, side to side. Let's go put on some music. Plex is actually hooked up to iTunes library. Alright, some Gecko Turner. up the music OSD lets you control and see information about the song. Of course there's system volume up and down. The cool feature you can keep the music playing while you back out and go browse around your music files or your pictures. With the hot team top bleeding words to say. I can't feel me jumping. 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 But they would 
Let's go check out the weather. Looks like rain. Configure the system, access to all the Plex's settings and controls. Applications. You can launch other applications from within Plex. Meanwhile, when you read the press, you get the promo that says. Check out some photos. The dice is keep rolling. Hello, it's painting. Launch praise, get to click it to play. Why you been in the phrase? And now you know you embrace me. Tom, kiss, me kind of don't. Now you know you're my big kill, the best of the week. Right, we got a pause button here. I'm sure we can also stop it. Let's go check out some TV shows. So Plex will actually scrape fan art, theme music, and information about the episodes all automatically. It's hooked up to a database. Go check out some movies. So the buttons I've got here will move it one in either direction. And these other buttons actually advance it through the letters of the alphabet through your video library. V, T, S. Makes it a lot easier to move through a large video library. Wally. The top and bottom arrows here uh, will advance through the chapters, and the left and right can advance you 30 seconds at a time. You guess this is and pull up player controls for the movie. Change settings for the audio and subtitles or the video settings if you need to put on interlacing. Zoom in. You can pull up this info screen here, let you see information about the video playback, drop frames and such if you're a video geek. Down volume. Got a menu here where you can uh, view and edit information about the movie. You can read about the cast. Change the thumbs or the fan art. It's hooked up to a database. Let's try this one here. That looks better. All right, and it's changed. And finally, from here, you can access your favorites, view system info, and shut down Plex. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll check out these applications, Plex and Snatch. I've been having a lot of fun with them, and I think you will too.